Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today we will talk about three stocks that I'm buying this month and I prepared some graphics so you can follow uh, which elements of this investment really convincing me that these are very good and potential investments. So stay tuned, let's go. Oh, oh, one, one, one more second, I forgot something. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and uh, now we can continue. So the first stock, and I think you already know, is Tesla. You know, uh, if you're following my videos, you know that I'm very convinced uh, Tesla shareholder because I believe in their story. I believe they have uh, a strong, strong desire to really change and revolutionize the car industry and uh, they have a great product you know they just released the sales and delivery numbers for q2 which was uh, beyond any expectation so let's dive into this stock and why i'm thinking it's a good investment in july or of course in general we will we will crunch on some numbers let's dive into it okay so first of all let's look into the revenue uh, revenue last year 2018 was around uh, 21.46 billion dollar guys that was a huge grow around 80 percent from last year uh, or the year before to 2018 and that's uh, just ridiculous growth numbers okay so if you are looking into uh, high uh, growing companies you know this number is like 80 percent for such a big company and in such a very competitive field uh, it's it's really remarkable of course you know there's a lot of voices on the market and in general that um, this uh, company is still burning money since years uh, on the other side they are cash flow positive but if we focus on the revenue this is this is really ridiculous and remarkable so this is one of my my one points that you know you see very 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 constant growth uh, through the years with Tesla so that's why one big point that this uh, company is uh, an investment uh, for myself and uh, the value of the company you know uh, is around currently 41.5 billion dollars so you have a price and sales ratio of around two so 1.93 currently which is still a very very interesting uh, ratio if you compare it to different companies which will come later on uh, more mature companies uh, are basically uh, valued much more than that you can see it that uh, this is very attractive and uh, I have uh, made another post another video you know uh, by then it was uh, 173 so short term we, we had until today the short the share price is around 230 we had already around 30 percent value increase since my last video so I believe Tesla is a long term investment for myself so uh, you know also over the next couple of months uh, with the method of uh, dollar averaging which is basically you buy over a long period with the same amount of money more and more stocks so you get the average price uh, over the months because you never know how the short term the stock price develop so you buy uh, frequently and then have a good average compared to buying once and you are wrong and the stock price go down 30 percent you know and you are basically <laughs> the uh, price earnings ratio is currently not available because they don't make any profit so far so you cannot compare it to the uh, stock price right so not really uh, something that you can you can do here at this stock i also included uh, the one unique strengths of the stock uh, of each of three that i will present today and i think for tesla it's definitely elon musk and his ability to grow and build up companies to push people to their limits to his engineering wise uh, one of the best and greatest inventors you know if you look to the other videos that i made about the product of tesla it's just ridiculous how good this product is and that's why it's killing all the regular cars even in sales numbers everywhere in the world so stay tuned for more videos about tesla tesla is number one pick for july the next one is a chinese stock 
called Kudien. If you're following me already, I already make a feature about this uh, stock. It's very interesting because it's by uh, regular numbers or by the elements that I'm comparing, a very, very, very attractive stock. <laughs> so basically uh, they make uh, $1.12 uh, billion last year. Uh, revenue growth also extremely high in this growth company around 53 percent uh, that they grow from 2017 to 2018 the revenue in this size is also uh, uh, remarkable and interesting and you know when I scan through thousands of stocks that I looking through to pick really good numbers uh, or really good stocks that they can mu multiply, have good story, good business model. This is quite uh, easy to understand because they make uh, short or micro lending to people in China. It's a Chinese company, so basically they are they are based there and they lend micro lend uh, small loans for you know consumer products. When people buy something online, they basically can use uh, the credits of uh, Kudian and they have a really good profit margin as well. If you're interested, I will make a link to the Kudian video as well. Uh, to the stock analysis. So uh, coming back to the value, they are currently valued at $2.39 billion. That is a really attractive PS ratio of around two. But uh, the more impressive number that I'm seeing here is the price earnings ratio, uh, basically compared the stock price versus the earnings. So basically five times earnings, uh, five times per year the profit, then you have the total value of the company and that's really really good uh, 5.4 price earnings ratio is remarkable cheap so uh, buying this uh, stock here unique stock strengths i think is definitely the upcoming uh, middle class of china which is exploding basically you know more and more people through the revolution uh, industrialization e-commerce you know uh, went into the middle class in china and you know china has one of the biggest populations in the world so uh, there's a huge market upcoming market massive grow and these are the guys who basically buy some products and pay uh, monthly for three four months you know this is exactly the target group and uh, what you can do have better than the exploding really growing home target group which you understand how they think what they want uh, you speak the language everything so very very interesting kudian is number two last one on the list i thought i will put something a big bigger company because you know tesla and kudian kudian very very small or small in the perspective uh, of of tesla or the next one uh, candidate that i will uh, introduce now and tesla of course uh, very very risky investment obviously but uh, I thought the third one should be something that you know you have uh, regularly in your portfolio or can put there and keep for many many years without uh, looking into it and I think Facebook is one candidate uh, where I think they are really really interesting because uh, it's such a successful story and the time we are spending on it it's just ridiculous okay so think about Facebook is not only the social media it's also the WhatsApp, Instagram, Oculus VR, you know, and they're having a lot of other smaller companies that they own in this field. So uh, whatever your social life is engaging in the digital world, Facebook have a big chunk of that already in their pocket. Speaking about pockets, 55.8 billion dollars last year uh, they did and this was an increase for such a big company 37 percent this is a very very fast growing company guys so basically every three years they double in value if they continue these numbers and uh, they are currently valued at 555 billion dollars guys and I believe they easily have room to grow to at least trillion dollar companies, same like Apple or Amazon was. 
uh, because uh, or, or Microsoft just recently as well because uh, we will go down later on uh, price sales ratio with 10 and PE ratio with 29 obviously uh, much higher than the other two stocks that I presented before but still interesting and in the uh, industry average of this uh, type of stocks if you compare it for example to Amazon which has a ridiculous PE ratio uh, this is still you know has room to grow as i said the unique stock strands is definitely the time that you spend if you consider you spend at least an hour on on whatsapp daily you have you spend maybe an hour or two on instagram you know weekends more weekdays maybe less in the bed you will uh, watch news watch different channels on facebook facebook may be decreasing over the last years but instagram exploding and whatsapp and i believe that these two platforms instagram as well as whatsapp are not even uh, much uh, advertised uh, you know whatsapp i think it's not advertised at all and instagram is uh, a medium advertised uh, and monetized for facebook so far so much room to grow plus the aspect of coming ar and vr aspects you know uh, i think meanwhile facebook is the biggest media company in the world you know and uh, don't produce any own content you basically supply the content so they never so shortage of good or bad content so very very interesting business model there and as more people get uh, internet as more clients they potentially has as more growth there is as more money they make and so on and so forth so very interesting company for the next couple couple of years even decades to come i hope i uh, made uh, some good points here and you're interested in this uh, video if you want more of course subscribe hit the bell to get notified for every new video i'm vlogging daily guys thank you very much don't forget the grass is greener on the other side thank you for watching see you